something happening in my ear. sound a bit of a strange thing to do uh, when you're aiming for sleep but actually there is a method to my thinking because I remember when I was younger and I think that's part of the reason why I do these sessions when I was younger I used to really struggle to get to sleep and any little sound used to disturb me and the anxiety, the stress the disruption to my mind was horrible but now background sounds instead of getting in the way of me sleeping I actually incorporate and they can become part of my sleeping they can somehow encourage me to sleep deeply because quite often I'm asleep during the day when there is more sound usually than there is at night time Now I'm not pretending that I could get to sleep easily if there was a helicopter in the next room. Of course, you know, that would be, or if fireworks were going off under the bed, you know, of course, this kind of loud noises are going to not be conducive to a deep sleep but that's just standard stuff that's like trying to eat a big meal on a full stomach you know you're already full up you've already eaten all you can and now someone gives you a plate of food a big roast dinner something that perhaps you would love to eat normal, normally but in this instance this scenario you can't so we're talking about a kind of standard situation for me at the moment there's the sounds of the birds and pretty much during the summer 
no matter what time you go to bed or what time you get up if you live near a tree you're going to get the sounds of the birds because of the days being short in the summer the birds start sort of wake up about three o'clock half three in the morning I'm usually awake at that time but even if I'm not I love the sounds of the birds because it's the most natural sound there is says called sleep as can a train in the background going past and of course a train you'd hear it for a short period it was the world's longest train and it was travelling slowly the sound of a train lasts for a short period of time and you may have different sounds where you are in fact, if you don't have different sounds where you are, it means that you're living here with me. Because that's the only way you could have the exact same sounds. You'd also need to have my ears, because we're going to hear different things. We're going to focus on different things. myself doing these days is not really focusing on the outside sounds but noticing them being aware that they are there and just accepting that there are sounds
It's just a horn. It's just energy. It's just a sound that comes and goes. It's gone as quickly as it comes. Like a fart in a hurricane. Noticeable. That might be my uh, title of my life story. I fart in a hurricane. So your mind. same way that the bed that you lie on is there, but you're not constantly noticing it. If you're wearing pajamas or bed clothes, they're there. Them. They're just there. I like bananas. And even if you're thinking about bananas, it's just a thought that will leave, such as in the same way, sound.
for oil in your garden you can pretty much just relax just let go Just in the same way as if you were looking at a big chocolate fountain with marshmallows floating on the top. If you close your eyes, the big chocolate fountain with the marshmallows on top is still there. of sticking your head into the big chocolate fountain or just jumping in completely and possibly ruining the wedding reception. But it's still there, as is the bed is still there, supporting your safe. Just to help you increase 